So welcome back folks and welcome to another from fossils to bot bottles to fossils, whatever we were gonna call this one. And as you can see, we've had some torrential rain that's washed all of this out. All of this. God knows what's been washed out of here. So yeah, I don't know if you can see, but yeah, there's a lot, a lot been washed. I bet a lot of it's gonna be broken. Uh, this can't wait till it dries out. I feel stuff around my feet. I forgot my bloody gloves, which is uh, brilliant. But yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to go down some of the ditch lines again. Back to the ditch lines. Seeing if we can spot anything. Seeing if we can find anything old, interesting, that type of shizzle. You know, I can't see how it's sticking out uh, yet. So uh, yeah, all right, come on. Let's take a walk down and see what's washed up down here. Look, see where it's all gathered together. And like I said, I don't think anything is going to be intact. Uh, yes, as you can see, lots and lots of stuff washed out. But I uh, don't see anything nice in amongst it yet. I don't think there is anything. I'll carry on walking down. If anything turns up, there's some bits of white plate everywhere. I really should have brought my gloves. What an idiot. Right, as you can see, it's still raining. I'm gonna walk down. If I know, I'll show you. If I don't, I'll just get to the next bit. Well, oh, I've found something. I think it's just gonna be a plane. It's a screw top as well. But it's an old saucer. We'll put that on the side for now. So I've been asked a lot at the minute. How's the best way of finding a bit of clay pipe? How's the best way of finding old bottle dumps and stuff like that? Well the best way I can tell you is research, search, research. And two of them things I can't often be asked to do. But um yeah. So what we're gonna do, go for a bit of an explore today as well. See if we can find anything. I know there is some bottle tips in that wood. But I've never been able to find them. So maybe that's a new project for me. But anyway, we'll carry on. Gotta get back to a ditch line in a minute. Just walking over this field, see if we can find any uh, bits of flint or anything else interesting. And then we'll go up back through the ditch line and probably end up at the world famous saucy swamp thought that might some of you happy right i shall see you in a little while one thing i will say as well a lot of tips ended up just being spread in the field so sometimes just having a good look or search around the field you can find some decent bits i thought that was a piece of flint then as you can see, there's bits of willow wear everywhere here, so it's probably a little midden or dump just here at some point. Quite a lot down here. It's got the nice little cross bit on that. That's quite cool. All right, phone's getting wet again. I will be back to you when I find some good. So guys, first find of a little bit of interest. Look. It's an old 1960s bumper. A steel bumper, metal bumper. It's cool. Yeah, I'm just heading round to where the boat is. I don't know if you've seen the boat in the woods on an earlier video, but yeah, they we're heading that way. And towards a 1600s tip. Now, because this is a quarry, I should mention that sometimes there is some more 19. 1920s to 1960s type bottles around some of these areas. Oh, Jesus. What's that there? What's that? Uh, there's an old speaker, look. <laughs> Not much left of it. Uh, Not much left of that, is there? There's the old speaker. <laughs> Glass from a light. A nice bit of quartz. Look at that. 
Oh, there's an old bottle. Oh. Ah. Some 1980s. No, it's a Hoy's. Hoy's. Do lemonades and stuff like that. I've always liked these. These are quite cool. Oh, let me trowel. Trowel. Oh, the old electricity blocks you used to go over the, the top of the underground, buried underground, but over the top of the electricity wires. So you know underneath that, the electrical wires should be. Not like nowadays where they could be absolutely blasted anywhere. Is that a milk bottle? No, it's just a top. Oh. I don't know if you can see all these earthworks down here and that. But this is one huge badger set. It's massive. Hole round there, hole round there, hole there, hole there, hole there, hole here. Old hole, should I say. Another hole there, a hole over there. There is a massive badger set going under this hill. Oh, jeez Louise. I hope there's an old heating unit. <laughs> Some proper crap, isn't there? I've always wanted to get into this. Look at this. Look at this huge metal drum thing. Look at that. And what's inside that? That makes such a cool shelter, won't it? That's cool. It must be getting quite near the boat now. I think it's only a bit further on. I'll be there in a sec. So here it is. The boat in the woods. I don't know. Why is there a boat in the woods? Like, honestly, there is no road near this. So this has got to have been here for at least 60, 70 years. Look at that. The boat in the woods. Look at that, look. That looks like an old pulley as well. There's some bloody waiting scrap iron there. Hold on. Let's go inside the boat. Wait. No, no. Oh, shit. <laughs> How cool is this? So cool. Look at this. Look at this bloody poly unit. <laughs> Jesus. Excuse my language. That's huge. That was for probably pulling the boat in the woods. Honestly, it always makes me think like that was a big sea and it wasn't. It's just. Oh, what have we got? Oh, what have we got? What have we got? Oh, ah, I'm trapped. Ah. Look at them. What are they? Give them a rub. See if they go bright yellow. Let's break it. I don't think the yellow stainers, but because we don't know what they are, we shan't be picking them. Oh, there's lots. Some good ones down there. Alright, we're gonna try and get round to where the 1600s tip is. Alright. And try and follow up this ditch line if we can. Because you never know, there might be. So what you should be doing really, walking along your ditch lines, because if you're gonna find a, a bottle dump, you'll find no end near ditch lines. Because people were lazy in the past as well. People would have just found a nice ditch and just chugged all their crap in it. So, well, we're nearly back. I wonder if any bastard's been and dug it out again. Ah. I just can't tell, I can't tell if they've been back to it or not. Let me show you some of the onion bottle bits. And some of the onion bottle bits. Old 1600s onion bottles. And that's what we've always wanted to try and find the whole of one. But, as you can see, the place has been absolutely destroyed. A bit of 1600s pottery. I can't see anything. It's just like I say, nothing gets out of it anymore because it's been destroyed. Yeah, nothing's washed out. This is not going very well. Not really found anything interesting. All I've done is slobber. Slobber, slobber, slobber. Oh well. But there is a 1600 dump just here, under all of this crap. So 
So guys, I'm just having an explore. Just found this really unusual. I think I'm actually, uh, <laughs> I might be trespassing. I'm not too sure. Let's have his feet. There's some lovely bits of rock in this river. <laughs> but I've just found something really, I don't know if it's cool. Somebody will like it. I just pulled out what I thought was a rag and it turned out to be anti auntie's uh, bloomers. <laughs> Pants. <laughs> oh. What size is that trough? Like a cow trough. Oh. I'm desperately decided that I am... Um, I'm definitely heading into the quarry for carry on going that way. So I've got to come out. Oh, it really shouldn't be in here. What's that? I just saw something move. I literally just saw something move. What was that? That was weird. I saw a little creature move. Must have gone down that hole. Just been a bowl or something. What have we got over here? What's that? Oh, shit. <laughs> What's this? Find a ship like this and get really scared, you know. You never know what it's going to be. What the hell is that? What is it, look? What the hell is it? Cool that. Look at the nest on top. The nest. <laughs> I know what that is. Like I say, another thing, I wouldn't mind getting inside. You can make such good shelters out of them. Right, I'm going to try and find my way out of here. Somehow, shit. Ooh, what's down here? Ooh, one jack. <laughs> what's that? Oh, they feel like plastic to me, them jars down there. Oh, it sounds like here comes the rain. Shit. Yeah, that don't sound good. Hear it coming. Here it comes. Oh, shit. Now, bollocks. Hey, right, folks, it looks like for today I'm going to have to call it quits. It is shitting it now. And everything's getting wet, including the foam. Right, see you later. That's a lot of water. So, welcome back, guys. And it's actually another day. I'm just walking into the woods. What's that? I think it's an ashtray. That looks a bit... It looks like quite a nice one, if it's a whole one. Oh, no, it might not be an ashtray. It might be something else. Ah, no, it looks to be part of a lamp. <laughs> it's an old lamp. <laughs> it's nice, uh, nice glass bits on it, though. Are they glass? I think it's glass. Cool, yeah, I think we'll keep that. We'll be able to use that for summer. I'll carry on, get to the stream where we're heading. It's all right, cool. So welcome back to the overgrown ditch. And yeah, let's make up for what we lost the other day. Now I know mostly the other day was just exploring. We didn't find a lot, I know, apart from that old pair of pants. But, all right. See if we can go and find something today. Go back up the ditch line, see if we can find out, end up at Saucy. Right, see you in a minute. So let's have a see if we can find anything. I'll try and get nice and slow. Uh, 
nice stone, but it's a stone. Uh, would have thought after the rains that we've had, there'd be something showing. A nice piece of thin flint, almost looked like a bop just there. I don't think it is though. There's a little guy if you are. Oh guys, there haven't been a lot turning up, but I've just got two interesting bits in one area. Got this, which is, it's just a, a flint pebble of sorts. You can't actually see any retouch on it, but they don't all look like scars of previous removal. Like I say, it's probably where it's just been bashed around in the stream. And then this, which is glass. Uh, come on, focus phone, what's up with you? Yeah, it's glass. But if I remember rightly, old glass uh, that was made with lead. Because like this, you get like this, uh, it should be able to, yeah, peel it off. I think this is really old glass. This is probably an old... Oh, oh. What's left us some lettering on there? Oh, cool. Oh, is that some Samian ware? No, it's a leaf. <laughs> <laughs> so I just got to this little part. And nobody find summit around here. It's really hard today, there's not a lot showing. I've just seen this. Must be a little segment of uh, Ammonite look. It's cool. It'd be nice to find a big one like that, wouldn't it? So we're back at the bridge with the geocache. Wonder if that's been put in the geocache. Let's check it. Ooh. There's 10p and spiritual and neutral. And probably the letter. We'll leave that. Let's screw that back up. <clears throat> yeah, no lot turning up. And somebody's dog just came down the stream and totally messed it all up. So, uh, yeah. Can't see this going too well. Might see it moving straight over to saucer. Oh, there's part of an old. That was part of a cod. TER, so Leicester, of some kind. It's quite thick, that. Let's put that, oh shit, put that down there. Hmm. Alright, I'll carry on up. See you in a minute. So, as you can see, the farmer's still putting some of his rubble path down, and he's been digging out some of the bottle bit again. I've just spotted a few bits. So I thought, ah, oh, bugger it. Leave them where they are, and let's start from the start, and let's see if we can swap them again together. Let's go. I haven't spotted anything yet. Have you lot? I'll try and go slower. We got a stopper. Oh, what's that? Oh, I don't know what that is. It's got a hand on it, look. It's quite cool. There's a nice bit of pottery. Oh, that's quite nice. The tiny one. It's cool. I've just spotted that. Oh, that looks like beer. B E E. That's the, probably an R. I should imagine that's a ginger beer bottle. Leicester. Ah, oh, it'd be lovely to find that. Bugger. <laughs> It's mostly all broken bits, I'm afraid. So, I'll carry on, walk over to Saucer and see how flooded she is again. Ah, yes. So, uh, 
It looks like Saucy might be out. Oh, look, slows. Lots of slows. Um, yeah. So what I've decided to do is start to rectify Saucy Swamp after all the chaos and everything that we've done to it this year. It's a few bits turning up, I'll just show you. So, uh, it's a little, God knows, looks like the first thing I picked up. It's a little sheer top vial type thing. It's quite nice. A couple of stoppers. Is it going to be a cartons? And it's uh, cartons. And is this one going to be a, and it's going to be a cartons. And then as I'm scraping about, I'm just scraping everything up. I've just seen something. I just picked it up and that's why I started filming. What's this? Look at this. We've got some good without a metal detector. What is this? I'll say this is just hiding in amongst the spoil. What's that? I can see Leicestershire. Is that constabulary? I think he said another police. I think he's a police. Is that a policeman's number? That's cool. Check it out. I think that's a policeman's number. <laughs> See, I've obviously threw that out of Saucy Swamp. I'm just going through this spoil, sorting out all the glass, getting all the glass out of it, and uh, getting it skip. I've just gone through a massive ant's nest, so I keep putting my hands in red ants, and they're biting. Horrible little anti bastards, but uh, yeah, that's cool. All right, Chef can find hotels. What's that? That almost looks policey again, doesn't it? Look, what is it? It ain't silver, it can't be silver. Piss myself if it was. Nah, it's just brass, but. What's that? <laughs> That's quite nice. There's all sorts turned up in the spoil now. What the bip? Oh, this is cool. That's cool. It's nice. It all, don't know, fitting. No, it won't. It's a badge. What the hell? I'm starting to think there might be a policeman buried in Saucy Swamp. What the hell? Well, what is he? He's lovely. That one. Oops. I'll try and put what type of caterpillar it is. You can find it in the book. That's nice. Probably highly poisonous. It's gonna make my fingers all itchy. Well, something just caught my shiny magpie eye. Magpie. Uh, yeah. What's that? Oh. Oh, it's got a loop. I don't think it's silver. Hmm. Shiny. It could be pewter or something. I'm not, don't know. Don't know about that one. We'll have a look when we get home. All right. Well, there is a nice big bronze buckle. That's an old heel, shoe heel. Yeah, so I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I'll get most of this tidied up. See if we can turn hotels out. Decided because I moved half the bottles and keep some bits as well. It's a nice Hartley's here, nice little jar in the bottom. Uh, probably not going to keep that. I think I've showed you that one before last time we were up here. That would have been nice. Something London. Uh, nice wine bottle. Missing a bit off the bottom. Got in here. Sort all this out. Probably an old whiskey. Another sauce. Another sauce. Got how many saucy bottles are going to be in this box? Right. See you in a minute. So, folks, I've managed to go in lower than my welly. Uh, yeah. Let's have a look at the rectification of saucy swamp. Well, as you can see, put a nice slope on it now. Most of that has been cleared out. We know most of that's been cleared out. Most of that's been cleared out, but there's some stuff started to turn up there. So that's probably next year now. It's getting a bit cold. I don't think I'm going to do much more because it's quite deep. There is some more just there. I think there's some more just there. 
Saucy's never finished. But anyway, let's go and have a look at some of the last bits I've just pulled out. Well, we've got a nice... I think it's going to be a Lysol. Poison. It's a nice poison one. I've got one of these. Yeah, it's a Lysol. Trademark. I'm going to take the nice... Uh, it's not got any cracks up it, the Hartleys. So, yeah, I'm going to take that. It's a little screw-top jar, but I'm going to take it. Little tiny jar. Look at that one. That's cool. Uh, some Celtic ring money. I'm starting to think these might actually be curtain rings. Um, I think that's another one. Just found them in the spoil. Uh, marble. I thought that was a marble, but it's not. It's, I think it's a bottle stopper or something. It's cool. Found this. <sighs> cool. We like a bovril. Good old bovril, two ounce, long top. No, we won't keep that. And, uh, yeah, a doll's head. So, uh, all right. I'm going to head home, get tidied up. We'll do show and tell. <laughs> yeah, I think there's no chance No, stop it. Right, see you all at show and tell. See you in a bit. So welcome back, folks. And I know it's been a long journey with not much finds, but there is a star. There's an absolute star in amongst this lot. So let's get on with it. Let's get straight to show and tell. Stick around all the way to the end, please. You've got to see this. Right, let's get on. Move it. Go. So let's get started with flint and fossils. As you can see, we've got some nice guy up here. Uh, it's a bit of an ammonite. I thought this could have been a fossil, but apparently this is um, this is flint with erosion damage, water erosion damage. I've never seen out like this. Picked this up while I was walking up the stream. Didn't film it because I just thought uh, it's an unusual stone. But after looking at it, I started thinking it was a fossil and all sorts. But yeah, anyway, get on with it. A uh, couple of pieces of flint. This one's got. Um, Scars of previous removal. Maybe it's been used as a little core to take off some miniature blades or something, but there's no real working on it. Yeah, not brilliant. And that one, which has got a small bulb of percussion, as you can see, but yet again, no working on this. There's a, a scar of previous removal on this side somewhere. Yeah, I think there you can see a previous bulb. But yeah, nah. that's it, our oh, flint and fossils. Move on. So here we go with the better bits. Well, as you can see, lots of plain, but everything's tiny. Everything's look, it's all tiny, tiny stuff. Um, nice bovril. Got the Marshall's lysine, which that was a dis disinfectant. Um, yeah, the little doll's head, that's quite nice. That is quite nice. And then the uh, Allsop's Burton on Trent Stopper, which is also quite nice, but it's nothing like the star of our show. Let's move on. So here they are. Here's the star of our show. Stars, star, star, star. Wait a minute. Why has that got that weird mark? Hold on. See, it had these little things on the back which would have held it on that. So this is a policeman's badge. It would have been, a, I think it was a hat badge. And from right, this one is the King's Crown and was worn from 1901 to, uh, yeah, 1951, I think it was. So that's quite cool. As you can see, absolutely lovely. Leicestershire Constabulary. Would have been nice if you could find out a bit more about it, but still, absolutely beautiful. That's got to be an absolute star find. <laughs> so I'm quite happy with that. That's a nice, nice police badge. Would have been nice to find out some more stuff, though, wouldn't it? Uh, I mean, like, he would have been dressed like, like this. I mean, like, at the top there, that, I don't know if you can see it, like, I'll, I'll, that, that, that's his star. But, yeah, number 136, yeah, 
Officer 1 PC 136. What's that actually called? Edwin J. Webster. And he served in the forces from 1925 to 1950 as a police officer. Uh, as a police officer. Uh, but in 1939 became a sergeant. So I've got it all wrote down here. Uh, he served in Loughborough and around them areas, which I think is, you know, this is this is all fantastic stuff. This is like I say, King's crown helmet plate. So this was on his helmet. Be nice to think that at one point he was maybe chasing some criminal over the fields, got caught up in that hedge, just roundabout about saucy swamp, and it fell in. But I doubt that's how it got there. But this, hopefully, will be going back. Um, yeah, hopefully going back either to the family or definitely to the police history. I forgot what it's called. I do apologise. Anyway, I'm happy with that, aren't you lot? Thanks for sticking in there, guys. Carry on liking, carry on subscribing, carry on hitting the titting bell thing. Um, yeah. Hi to new subscribers. Hi to all you old ones. Cheers, guys. Thank you. Thanks for sticking in there. Right, I shall leave you with this star find. Tatty bye, folks, and thanks for coming.